Vortex. Words cannot describe how excited I am about this zinc lozenge. I, uh... absolutely love lozenges because of my obvious oral fixation, but while I realize that they probably added a bunch of crap to this, it looks really good to this packaging. See the pretty little pictures of elderberry? Let's see what else they added to this motherfucker. Let's see, organic cane sugar, organic tapioca syrup, organic natural flavors, whatever the fuck that is. Each lozenge provides 12.5 milligrams of black elderberry extract made from 800 milligrams of elderberries. Plus, comma, excellent source of capital zinc. Five milligrams and vitamin C also capitalized. 60 milligrams. For centuries, European black elderberries have been traditionally used for immune support during the winter months. You can take elderberry extract daily for year-round traditional immune support. See, I wish I'd already been taking it. But unfortunately, I never have the things that I need when I need them the most. Do you think that being a former prepper, we would already have this covered? We don't really do that anymore because it's bad enough that I'm a woman with a debit card and it's really obvious that, you know, I get impulsive and just buy dumb shit based off of like whatever vibe I'm going with at the time. And so, you know, there was a time when believe it or not, I tried to be a sheep and I tried to do things like vote and go to school and well, I never wanted to go to school. Every time I've ever gone to school, it's because of my parents pressuring me. Uh, but you know, I do the opposite of authority figures and not really like because I'm intentionally waving my finger at the man specifically the middle finger but um you know I tend to not want to do what they want me to do so it doesn't make sense to go along with what they want me to do when I know that I won't be good at it because I don't have faith in it, you know? So. It's really important that people understand, like, the motivation behind their behaviors, and I think that this is totally lost on people, and it's very easily lost when people are easily distracted. So, you know, if they have the phone on them all the time and they can constantly use that as a distraction from the world. But it's weird because the phone, like, is the world in a sense. The internet is like so many psychops in one place. It's, it's totally insane. And I feel like I'm in such a small faction of people that actually get that. But like, the people that don't get it, like they're making money off of it. Whether they have a business that they're running on the internet, they have like a podcast that they're doing on the internet, or they have like, 
you know, validation points that they can earn on the internet. They're like weak points, only more useless, but at the time, they feel like gold, you know? Like, I can only imagine, I don't really have this issue with dopamine because I don't get much of a reward from anything. Um, but like, say I needed validation real bad. And so I joined a social network and I said stuff that was really toxic, but it got me a lot of attention and it got me a lot of retweets or likes or whatever. Like it really doesn't matter like if you retweet something, if it's like good or bad or if you like like or dislike something. Um you still watched it, you still paid some kind of attention to it. And so obviously like that person, even if what they're saying is like totally untrue or just stupid, it's like you're drawing attention to them and you're like basically validating them. And they can always tell themselves that too. Because people that tend to be wrong don't really care, you know? I mean, if, if, you, if you're right, you can just keep telling yourself that. And then you don't have to, you know, really do any kind of, like, self-evaluating or, you know, recalibrating. You don't have to do that because you were never doing that anyway. So... I wish I could stop doing that because it's really annoying. Like sometimes I just want to be like everybody else and be just like stupid and like unconscious of anything that's going on around me. And you know, easily distracted, easily uh, thwarted. Well, I don't know, maybe I am easily thwarted because You know, politics is getting to everybody. Politics is getting to people that don't want to be political at all. So, it's unfortunate because most of these people have no idea what they're talking about because they're not looking at everything. Like, they only see certain aspects of every single issue. And if you only look at certain aspects, you're not gonna be able to like actually do anything constructive you know you can't move forward if you're like insisting on denying certain parts of the equation you know so yeah. everything's going to hell I mean, it already, we're already in hell